Hey everybody, I figured it was about time I did another update on our container home. Uh, it's been a while and I know some of you have been waiting to see what's going on. So we've made some changes. Uh, the first one is our solar panels on the roof of the shipping container were angled more like that to catch the rain. But because of all these trees, we're all still missing out on a lot of sun. So I've laid them pretty well flat and that is helping us out in the afternoon sun when it comes over here to give us maximum charge. We've also managed to pick up another bank of batteries. So we're now running three banks. It does take longer to charge, but it does also mean that once it is charged, it lasts longer before it goes flat. And Paul Rochelle has had quite a few instances where the uh, batteries died overnight and she and Jake were left completely in the dark with no power, no fridge, blah, blah, blah. Our next biggest problem was that uh, the house is getting stinking hot inside, sitting about 36 degrees. So Tony and I put together like a, um, a lattice work shelter with the webbing over the top of it. And that covers our sliding door on the side. That has made a bit of a difference to sun coming in late in the afternoon. Around the side, we have our air conditioner fully installed. Uh, that is wonderful, but it does chew a lot of power. And we splashed out on a proper home hot water system. So now we're getting a 50 degree water uh, hot water instead of the 32 that was coming out of our caravan style one. So dishes is great. We can uh, get nice heat going through those. You will see, this is the master bedroom window. It looks a bit more white than normal. We've made some changes inside as well. Something run around there. Oh yeah. And we set up our little um, while I'm going past. This is our housewarming gift from my mum. Uh, nice little kind of a pot belly stove style uh, fire pit. We have some fairy lights which you probably can't quite see. There they are. And they run around the trees. This looks really cool at night time. So a nice little seating area that is chillaxing. Oh, always rubbish around here as we're modifying things. Okay, so 36 degrees, it does get hot. Jake now has his own ceiling fan. It is remote controlled because we cannot run wires through the walls. Everything's sealed, so what's there is there, and that's it. So the only option was a full remote control fan with a light in it. Jake's going to love it. Um, obviously, with it being so low, uh, you know, dear, uh, here's my hand, and hopefully that's how low to the ceiling it is. I hope that came through. Um, we've got one in our master bedroom as well. And then courtesy of Kmart, we have dual blinds. So it comes as a twin pack, they're on clearance. This one's the uh, privacy screen, and then we have the block out, which is pretty cool. Uh, apart from that, the only other big change we've made is we have a fly screen all over a big sliding door. It is effectively screwed on, on this side, so this door can be left open the whole time and bugs don't come in. That's the biggest changes for now. Uh, as more happens, I'll keep you up to date. We are looking forward to our stage two septic system and a better water system. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll give you an update soon.